Within Hayden Library, on the Arizona State University campus in Tempe, Arizona, one can find the Map and Geospatial Hub. The Map and Geospatial Hub expands access to geospatial and cartographic resources across ASU and beyond. It's a fusion of a traditional map library and a modern GIS center. It serves the academic community of ASU, as well as the broader public, with access to all sorts of geographic information resources, such as raw geospatial data, maps, imagery, and GIS software. The hub is a dynamic operation, where all sorts of applied GIS and mapping projects are carried out. But its most fundamental activities involve the management and distribution of geographic information resources. The goal is simple. How can we make it as easy as possible for people to find and get the resources they need? To achieve this goal, we're striving to build a truly innovative library ecosystem of geographic information discovery and access. Two interconnected software platforms stand as the dual pillars supporting this vision. The Map and Geospatial Hub 3D Explorer and ASU Geodata. The Map and Geospatial Hub 3D Explorer, or simply 3D Explorer for short, is an application that virtualizes library space and assets. One can think of it as the first ever library digital twin. It's a custom web-based GIS application modeling library space in three dimensions. It allows users to virtually tour, discover, locate, and access resources while aiding staff with collection management. The application serves many purposes, but first and foremost, it's a resource locator, a geographical resource locator. Users can conduct text and location-based searches for materials. Search results are presented with exceptional levels of locational specificity. Materials are located and dynamically visualized down to their individual drawer or shelf location. The 3D Explorer boasts other engaging functionality as well, such as an embedded 360-degree panorama photo viewer, among other features. Standing alongside the 3D Explorer is ASU Geodata. ASU Geodata is the centralized site for the distribution and curation of the geographic information resources managed by the Map and Geospatial Hub. It's an instance of an Esri ArcGIS hub site that organizes geospatial data sets by category and makes those data available for preview, evaluation, and easy import or download in a variety of file formats. ASU Geodata also includes a page dedicated to our ever-growing collections of spatially indexed resources, such as series of historic aerial photographs, all sorts of thematic map types, and other geospatial data, such as LiDAR point clouds. Separate pages exist to curate geo-reference materials with web mapping applications, offering additional functionality designed to deepen the digital exploration of those materials. These two platforms, the 3D Explorer and ASU Geodata, are interconnected in multiple ways to offer the user geographic information in a variety of formats and processing states. The 3D Explorer application links the physical map assets held in the library with their associated digital objects in ASU Geodata, and vice versa. These objects take the form of spatially indexed map series, or interactive web mapping applications, or digital exhibits, or derived GIS datasets. Let's take a look at some examples. The Hub stewards some of the best historical maps of metropolitan Phoenix available. This Lot Map of Phoenix, published in 1933, offers a highly detailed representation of the layout, division, and basic use of land resources in the heart of Phoenix's urban core nearly a century ago. One can view this map, displayed within the 3D Explorer application, and then be transported to a georeferenced version of it featured within an interactive web mapping application contained within ASU Geodata. The hub holds notable collections of maps covering Latin America, too. Here's a fantastic 1909 linguistic map of Mexico and Central America. We can easily locate where that map resides using the 3D Explorer. Within the descriptive, item-level information for that map, we find a link that takes the user to an associated web mapping application 
in ASU Geodata. That ASU Geodata application curates not only the original georeferenced map, but also the vectorized polygon GIS layer contained in that map, describing the historic ethnolinguistic distribution for that region. Additionally, if someone wanted to work with that raw GIS data layer for their own research purposes, she could download it directly from the homepage of ASU Geodata. As a final example, let's take a look at the contents of this map cabinet drawer in the 3D Explorer. It happens to be dedicated to storing maps of the Colorado River, among other regions. The user can digitally browse the contents of that drawer one by one. She would come across an important series called Plans and Profiles of the Colorado River, published by the United States Geological Survey about 100 years ago. While browsing through each item in that special collection, she'll see the standard descriptive metadata information we include for all assets. And, when available, she will see the option to view item in spatial index, or learn more about this item. Those links will transport her to supplemental curatorial content. In the case of plans and profiles of the Colorado River, this content exists as both a spatial index for the collection, as well as a robust digital exhibit in the form of an ArcGIS story map. That story map engages audiences by explaining the significance of those maps in historic, geographic, and technical terms with rich animations and compelling geo-visualizations. And, of course, from the original maps, we can extract the raw graphical information, package it into one or more GIS-compatible data formats, and distribute those newly extracted raw data for GIS users wishing to remix those data in new and previously undiscovered ways. That's how we're striving to build an interconnected ecosystem for geospatial discovery and access. One that, just like the map in Geospatial Hub itself, blends the analog and physical with the digital and virtual. Because for us here at ASU Library, maps are data and data are maps. Learn more by visiting geospatial.asu.edu.